Hello, Brian Jorgensen with JMT. I'm going to go over a WV260 bandsaw. This is a single miter bandsaw, it miters to the right. This bandsaw will cut at 99 inches, at 45, 6 inches, and at 60 or 3 and a half. Uh, this also has a chart that tells us teeth per inch that we get in our profile of material that we're cutting, a recommendation. Comes with a flood coolant pump. We got our stop, comes with this saw also. We also get our little um, hydraulic uh, assist cylinder, which we adjust our down feed speed. Uh, comes with the limit switch, which uh, when it's done complete cutting, it'll shut the saw motor off. We get a disconnect for our power. We get an e-stop, we got a blade start, and we get a trigger that um, starts our motor. And when we let go of the trigger, it stops the bandsaw blade, which can be used in a lot of different ways. You can just halfway cut in the material and lift it back up. And we got our um, variable speed option. It's standard on this saw, which works through a VFD. Which when we use this, we're gonna match it with our down um, assist cylinder to match the way to get our best cut. And what we want to do is match our speed and our feed to get little curls out of our um, chips. That means we're getting enough pressure and cutting speed to keep our blade life longer, keep our blade sharp. Uh, very simple to miter. We have two grease certs. We keep these greased. We're allowed to keep it greased. We're not going to let it wear out. Lock it in. Now we can't move it, it's very strong. Uh, we have carbide guides with roller bearings. We have a one inch thick blade, gonna give us very straight cuts, very strong, and allow for flexing. A very strong um, blade guide right here, solid. We have our uh, blade tensioning, which is hydraulic. You can actually see where our pressure is. As you can see, I move this either way. I like this, we can get our blade pressure where we want it. If you have a system that's just manual without this kind of a gauge, you're gonna have your guys adjusting your blade pressure all over the place where it may not be tight enough or it's too tight where you snap a blade or if it's not tight enough, it's gonna come off and it damage your saw. Um, speaking of if your blade comes off, this actually has a limit switch. When it blade does break, it shuts your motor off so the blade, it stops or you ain't gonna damage your band saw. Uh, we got our very strong, sturdy vise. Um, I would say, you know, half your accuracy for cutting is going to be in your vise, how strong it holds your material and how straight it keeps it. Um, as you can also see down here, we have a handle to adjust our vise in and out. We also have the quick release handle, which allows us just to go ahead and slide this in. And we just push this down, we got pressure to our material. Uh, we actually got uh, machine grooves into this part of the vise, especially on rounds, so our material doesn't rotate as we're cutting. Comes standard with the roller guide. Uh, that's a cast iron frame. It's actually sit on an angle a little bit, which doesn't put as much twist to our bandsaw blades that comes and passes through. It's another benefit to blade life. Cast iron is very strong and rigid. You don't have vibration through cast iron like you would a tubing frame saw. And you can see here we have a motor that goes right into a gearbox. Uh, we call this direct drive. It's got a variable speed to adjust our speed inside the motor. Very strong. It's to a gear. It's not through a belt. Um, I like this design better. A belt can slip. If a belt does slip, you're going to tear your teeth out. You got an oil bath, which you can actually see the oil level of our gearbox. Right here we got a tensioning spring, which we want to adjust to match our down feed pressure to keep our right tension. So we're not feeding too fast, or not feeding fast enough into our material. This is a 110 powered saw, so you can use it anywhere you want to. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate cutting a piece of solid round stock at, at 90 degrees. Tap it down. Get our blade set to the right height. Got the right feed rate. Now we want to get our right blade speed. Now 
Right now I got it at 200. Just gonna spray some coolant on here. Keeps our blade cool, removes chips. Allows a better blade life would be use coolant. Complete the cut, now it shuts itself off automatically. Very clean, just a real small burr at the end of where we cut. Now I'm going to demonstrate cutting a piece at a 45 degree angle. It's a piece of tubing. Very clean. And just kind of mount this right up as you can tell. No gap, I can go ahead and weld that right up. We'd like to sell you one of these band saws.